you get $100 for every person you can bore to sleep with a lecture. What topic would you pick and what would you talk about? Number and or set theory. I think I'd have most people asleep by the time I got done proving how one greater than zero using field axioms. You'll better get ready for my series on the Fibonacci sequence. I heard that this course starts slow but slowly adds up. A romance novel based on my love life. So I saw this girl back in first greed. The end, I touched her back when we played tag. I have never washed my hands since. 2020 has made this habit dangerous, but damn it, masks slash basic sanity oppress my freedom. Quantum mechanics, shit's boring as hell to the average person, I enjoy it though. If you can get the right person to explain it it can be fun. Different shades of sheep wool, the terms and conditions to every website. Horizontal meditation with practical aspects. I'd tell him about the time I took the ferry over to Shelbyville. I needed a new lace for my shoe. So I tied an onion to my belt, which was the style at the time. Ok, Abe Simpson, the inner workings of an Amazon fulfillment center it's a lot more mundane than you'd think. Where do you guys store all the pee bottles? In the cupboard with the union representatives and basic human rights. A cultural comparison of the act of yawning from 1620 to 2019 edit, thank you kind, generous people for the gold and other award. I already yawned because of you. Shit me too. A meditative lecture with comfy chairs warm room, and relaxing music. This but the topic is accounting. I never took accounting but I used to go into accounting lectures to sleep. He'll ask my history teacher, she seems to understand the territory. Don't? She'll get 100 bucks. When it comes to zoning ordinances, I have a few thoughts. I'm interested. Taught law. I go full Colin Robinson as I explain duties owed and possible ramifications. That is my current topic in bar prep and damn is it boring. The story of a weld. What detailed visual analysis of a weld can tell us about the events that occurred during the process. Four hours of non-stop talking about pictures of welds. Targeted towards young engineering students that don't know anything about welding, so I'm going to start from the basics. For best view of the pictures I'll put the lights really dim. I'll also set the AC cool. Highly recommend to bring a snack, a drink, and an empty bottle or a diaper. Because I ain't stopping once I start and I'll lock the doors. Still a better story than metal compositions. Autism, I'd be surprised if people would be interested in that unless they know someone who has it, but it's the only topic I know enough about to be able to do a lecture on it. I'd be interested in that. I think that's a super important topic, and I'm ashamed to say that I know very little about autism. Sadly a lot of people that has the diagnosis doesn't know anything about it either, there's a severe lack in psychoeducation for people with ASD, you just get the diagnosis and is then send on your way as it's not something you can really treat. But it is something most people in general knows nothing about apart from the stereotypes, but same goes for a lot of stuff like that, lol. Concrete composition. I don't know man. They are probably going to be on the edge of their seats when you explain how to adjust the water to cement ratio for the moisture content of the aggregate. Unf say aggregate again, the intelligence of Rick and Morty. To be fair, you do have to have a very high IQ to understand the jokes. Anything computer science related. I'd be interested but I'd probably understand only like one third of what you're saying and interrupt you with questions every two seconds. Foreign policies compared to America's. I would love to listen to this. ISO 9001 quality management systems. Guaranteed to put 99.9% .9 of people to sleep, but fuck do I love some perfectly documented work instructions. Bitch please, I'm implementing 27001 at my current job, haven't had this much fun at work since I started working. 27001 is legit a damn good framework. I've been using it at my company for 8 years now. The standard stocks are really well written. The only one to beat it is ISO 3103. Look it up. Colin Robinson would be a bloody rich guy. 
I doubt source the actual lectures to him, and make bank as the middleman procuring audience members by luring them in with free donuts and a nap. Everybody wins. History. I'm really into it and could talk about it for a long time but hardly anyone else is even remotely interested, you'd be surprised. But I guess it also depends what kind of history. The history of history and all its mystery. Today we're going to talk about people talking about history. I'm a tax accountant, I just have to talk about my job. An all day seminar on the science of watching paint dry. Or better just watching paint dry. Cost accounting. That class manages to put 70 people to sleep three times a week. Technical Minecraft and Redstone. I'd listen all day long to that, I already do. Damn dude. I'm a professor who has been teaching 300 plus students for 15 years. Assuming that half didn't want to be there in the first place, generous assumption, I'm up to $225,000 without changing my behavior. My guess is that some of my colleagues who teach more auditorium style or high enrollment online classes are many multiple millionaires under this scenario. What do you teach? Jargon. How to earn $20 falling asleep in my lecture. I find your thesis statement to be intriguing and would like to sign up for your seminar. My life story. Kosh storage, risk assessment and hazardous waste processing. Or literally anything. I could be talking about sexy bottoms or gunfights or culture wars. My voice is naturally soporific enough to make anyone doze off. My mum calls me when she can't sleep, 